I told you not to go in alone. I didn't. Brought my two friends. This is what our need wanted us to find. Bullet between the eyes. That's a signature hit. The iron eyes are the dragon claws muscle. Wong's got the iron eyes hitting cops and dealing passports to Golden Cane. His acting is top notch. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're jumping into the video game sequel of a John Woo movie starring Chow Young Fat. It is John Woo Presents Stranglehold. It takes place in Chicago, apparently. Um, how many video games out there actually star a big name actor? This is kind of cool for us. I, you know. I was a little skeptical when I saw this game's title in the book. I, I hadn't really heard of it before, and I kind of thought, you know, a, a game that stars a movie star, I mean, there's there's not many, hardly any good games based on movies, so this looks like it might be a train wreck, but but I've actually uh, watched a few uh, reviews on this, and I'm, I'm kind of intrigued, actually. So, I mean, for anyone who watches John Woo movies... Basically, the guy loves bullet time. So this is basically bullet time the game. I mean, arguably, The Matrix was ripping off uh, John Woo in, like, you know, kung fu movies. Um, so, you know, because this is... It, this is kind of like a weird game where it's, like, going to be more cinematic than we're used to. And normally, we kind of skip over the cinematics. I'm going to let this initial one play for a little bit so you can kind of get a sense of things. Basically, these are bad guys who are going to murder... Wow, look at the cinematography. I mean, that's... I, I feel like that's a little more than you would normally get in just, like, a typical average game. I mean, not to say that games don't have interesting cinematics, but... Uh, basically, the story is, you know, you are a detective named uh, Tequila. Detective Tequila. Um, and you have to do something, kill some criminals who basically did bad things to you. I think they were, like, killing your family or partner or something um, before the game started. So, anyway, off. There's Tequila to get the Chowian Feather Doves. Flying around, clearly a John Woo cinematic experience. Um, this is going to be interesting for us today. All right, let's go ahead and start a new game. I've not played this before, so I'm going to play on casual. Uh, but look at him spinning around the Dove Man, they call him. Uh, dive to avoid enemies, to avoid incoming fire while targeting enemies in tequila time. Imagine being such a cool cop that there's a version of time named after you. And also, imagine your name was Tequila. I mean, you'd be this guy, so you'd have to imagine something equivalent. Like, if your name was, like, Vanilla Vodka or something like that. That would be my name if I were a hard-boiled Hong Kong detective. I'm Vanilla Vodka. All right, we're going to go ahead and skip the next cinematic here. But uh, the game actually looks pretty good for an Xbox 360 game. I mean, again, Xbox 360 games look good. I'm not uh, saying they didn't. But, uh, yeah, I I'm liking this sort of uh, gritty Hong Kong they got going on here. So... I'm going to go pick up the two guns that I left for myself in this alley. Or maybe these are the delivery guy's guns and he just wasn't paying attention. Either way, there's two shimmering desert eagles on the table behind me. Um, careful, Tila. <laughs> I keep wanting to say Tila. You guys know that, that uh, old uh, reality show, Tila Tequila? And uh, she was like a stripper or something. She was trying to find love. Uh, yeah, I knew that would happen at least once during this video. I'd call this guy Tila. Anyway, careful, Tequila. This is a rough neighborhood. Press left trigger to dive and right trigger to shoot. Tequila time, brackets, slow motion. Will engage automatically when you aim at enemies while diving. I love it. Um, all right. Where are the bad guys? Oh, they're that way. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Time to shoot at these guys. Oh, I hit him in his knees and groin. So you actually can, in this game, um, shoot people in different parts of their body. Notice the stairs, too, got shot up. This game has a lot of destructible debris, and enemies will react to getting shot in different areas. So, like, you can shoot them in the eyeball or the groin or... I mean, those are the two hot spots. I mean, I guess you could shoot their butt or their guts or something. But really, you know, any game out there that allows gamers the ability to... Oh, what happened? So that was weird. My video just cut out briefly. Um, all right, we're going to go back in. I like how the pause menu, by the way, is the detective's badge. Um, anyway, like I was saying... Um, any game that gives modern gamers the ability to shoot enemies in different parts of their body, you know that gamers are going to go for two hot spots: The face and the groin. Because those are the two most sensitive parts of a person, really. I mean, the headshot is like a one-hit kill. And then the, uh, oh god, I was shooting all around his face. 
Oh, I'm getting stars based on how interesting I'm killing people. How interestingly I'm killing people. But anyway, the headshot's an insta-kill, and the groin is just, you know, the ultimate humiliation shot. Alright, pick up health packs to heal. Ah, oh, I feel more healthy. Oh, that guy's still alive. Can we riddle his body with bullets? Yeah. Let the, uh, let the lab boys figure out what happened there when they... Oh, there's just guns everywhere. When they, uh, you know, investigate this crime scene. Pretty sure you can, like, run on walls and stuff, too. Oh my god, look at his flip phone. He's getting missions on a flip phone. What, <laughs> flip phone. What is this, 1995? To access mission information anytime from your handset, press the back button. Uh, investigate the market, search for the golden rabbit. I will find that rabbit and I will eat it. Um, when something is highlighted, press left trigger to interact with the object. Tequila time will engage automatically when you aim at enemies <laughs> while interacting. Alright, my video cut out again, but luckily I keep catching it right as it happens. So, alright, we're gonna carry on. Interact with highlighted objects. Like what? Um, stylish kills award you stars. The more stylish uh, you get, try to get a combo. Okay. So, we not only are trying to fight crime, but we're trying to do it with style. Um, have yet to see an interactable object. Can I just... Oh, yeah! Jump down the stairs? Yeah! <laughs> what? He's not diving. I want to, like, do a dive, like, uh, right after this. Oh, I shot the guy's kneecaps out. That's pretty crazy. I'm, like, just phasing in and out of bullet time. I would love to know the backstory of why Mr. Tequila here... I mean, is, it, is he powered by tequila? Why is he able to just phase through reality like this? He's seemingly un, unfettered by the constraints of uh, time and ammunition. My god. Alright, more guys for me to shoot! Can I shoot the, like those signs and stuff? Look, there's, there's like signs up there. Oh, I think a sign landed on the guy. Look, this guy's intentionally standing under a sign. It helps my style, man. I, I imagine the I, I like to imagine the like police uh, chief at the end of the day. He's like, well, you didn't apprehend anyone, but you killed a lot of guys with class tequila. You're all right, my books. You know, he's like, it, it's really it's he's he he's not killing thieves with style for him. It's more for the benefit of the chief, I think. So the chief has something to look forward to at the end of the day. Perform stylish kills to earn stars to fill the tequila bomb gauge. A tequila bomb, man. Uh, Vanilla Vodka likes what he sees. When you do this, the health boost icon will be highlighted. Press left on the D-pad to convert the tequila bomb energy directly into health. Wait, okay, so he murders people in slow motion, which somehow feeds some internal meter of style. And when he's stylish enough, he rages out and suddenly becomes more healthy. Makes sense. All right, sure. That's how reality works. Find and collect paper cranes to refill the tequila bomb gauge. Yeah, sure, I'll take a paper crane. Oh my god, my tequila, my... I'm oozing tequila. It's like just dripping out of my mouth. I'm frothing at the mouth of alcohol as I run around. I need to explode this tequila in, in a bomb-like display of energy. Look, they even have cockroaches I'm walking over. Gross. He's unfazed by the bugs. Bugs everywhere. That was what would bother me about this alley. Forget about the thugs. I don't care about thugs, but I'm bothered by bugs. Um, he's having a nice cool cigarette to relax. I wonder how involved Chow Young Fat was with this game. Like, did they scan his face once and then just send him a big paycheck? Or was he, like, acting in different scenes? Were they, like, you know, motion capturing him? This whole scene, I, I <laughs> imagine Chow Young Fat was in a, in a studio somewhere in, like, a total... Uh, you know, blue bodysuit with like the little ping pong balls on them. And every single NPC you see here was an extra also in the blue bodysuit. And all the stands and stuff were like blue boxes and stuff. And they filmed all this. This is what I think happened. And then later on, they digitally moved all those body motions into the Xbox to give this this scene a realistic flavor. Look, there's a, a sinister looking envelope. And it has, oh God... The badge of the cop who was shot at the beginning. I assume was shot. Oh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he, he's not getting back up. Everyone else is still staring at the board. They're like, oh, uh, you know, yoga on Sunday. Uh, it's like the community activity board. Oh, there's a guy with a shotgun. Don't blow up those watermelons. No, that's his livelihood. How will I afford to send my kids to college? Oh, tequila. Oh, 
He, was that guy? He, he, he was innocent, right? I just... Did I kick him for fun? I guess it was to get him out of the way of bullets. Boom! Out of the way, everybody! Oh, I'm killing, like, pig carcasses. Somebody's gonna buy that pig later on, and they're gonna be trying to eat a pork chop, and they're gonna be like, it tastes leady. As if there's an unusual amount of lead in my pig. Alright, who else wants some? I, I can... I, by the way, need to remember to use my tequila bomb before I die. If I get low on health, I will do that. Who is shooting me? You dick! Oh! How's that for style? I That should be been a really stylish kill. Oh, something exploded! Oh my god. Okay, tequila bomb! Okay, nothing happened. I pressed the D-pad, my health went up. It was not super impressive. That guy just dropped his gun. See that? Oh, there's like things... This, this game is all about the like, uh... The destructible environments. So, it's kind of interesting, like... I would say, like, it's not the best shooter that I've played so far. Like, this is my initial impressions. We're going to keep playing, obviously, for a while. But it's not necessarily, like, the best shooter. But the bullet time stuff's kind of fun. And it really is all about, like, destructible environments and, like, crazy scenes. So I 100% see the John Woo influence here. Oh, man, more guys. What are these guys even trying to do? Like, why are they here? They don't even look like thugs. They just look like... You know, dudes out of a Gap commercial. You know, they're just like, or actually, uh, not Gap commercial. What's that like, uh, you know, the like club guy, the guy who makes club clothing, like Tom, not Tom Hardy, but Tom Harding or something? I don't know. He was in the 90s. Look at their button up shirts. And they have sort of style. Those guys are going out to the, co the club, or they were trying to pick up ladies. I assume it's like 1993 or 4 because the guy has a flip phone. Or maybe like 98, who knows. Ah, right in the knees! Oh, I, I'm totally gonna try and grab his shotgun. There we go, give me your gun. Oh, press A to switch weapons, yes! Hey look, there's a TV. I'm more fascinated by the CRT TVs. You don't see this kind of technology around these days. As a retro gamer, I love retro technology. Um, I am trapped here. Boom, boom! No, the precious CRTs! Those things can't be replaced, guys! You don't understand. Look at this. Boom. If somebody was standing there, they would've got mega hurt. Oh, I blew up a CRT TV. Oh, no, I blew up another one. You did, you jerk! Whoa, boom! Oh, gold coins everywhere. What is happening? Oh! Shotgun blast to the face. Oh, just push him against the wall, why don't I? Didn't even know how I did that. Where is this guy? Oh, God! The the pellets riddle his body, rendering his intestines uh, a soft mush. He will never live again. <laughs> I guess that's the definition of dying. He will never live again. Hey, where'd my shotgun go? Oh, Mexican standoff. All right. Guess what? I'm sure some kind of new crazy power is about to emerge. Because I am Chow Young Batman. You're in a standoff. You have to take out the enemies one at a time by aiming with the right stick and shooting right trigger. Dodge their shots with the left trigger. Keep an eye out for glints. Okay. Boom. Oh! Oh! This is... Boom. Boom. Alright. Interesting. Let's, uh... Boom. Boom. Yes! Oh, cool. How about... This? <laughs> I was trying to shoot the sign, too. Wow, interesting, huh? You know what, uh, Ch uh, John Woo should have made a Matrix game. You guys remember the like, ma Enter the Matrix and the Path of Neo and stuff? I remember Enter the Matrix, I wanted it to be good and I played the whole thing and kind of liked it, but it's like, it wasn't really that good. I think Path of Neo was better, but to be honest, like, I don't know, may like maybe John Woo should have done it. Maybe should the, the Wachowski should have been like, hey John Woo, Want to make a Matrix movie? I mean, I don't know if he would have wanted to or not. Since, uh, you know, the, the idea of the Matrix was basically stolen from his style. Get, stop shooting me from above. Oh, God. I'm about to die. Use my tequila bombs. Use them all. Drink all the booze. Um, I know that as this game goes on, you get uh, more and more tequila bombs. You can do crazier and crazier things. I think one of the tequila bombs is like unlimited ammo. Another one is just like you go nuts killing everything all around you. It's like an area of effect attack. He just starts spinning around, doves fly out of his butt, and he's like just shooting everything that's around him. 
Um, you know, as as is the case in every uh, John Woo movie. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm really interested now to look up and see, are there interviews with Chow Young-Fat talking about what it was like to be in this game? Because, like, every time an actor's in a movie and stuff, they always interview them, and they're like, what, what did you think when, uh, so when, when Steven Spielberg asked you to be in uh, movie X? And they're like, well, uh, I didn't know what the movie was about, but I did it, and I really enjoyed it, and uh, my co-workers were, were a blast. Like, who was Chow Young-Fat's co-star in this? Um, 8 gigabytes of RAM or something? That was, that's like the worst gaming joke I ever made. I don't know. Um, I've killed all the bad guys and I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. So wait, hold on. So, video game logic dictates you go to where you last killed a bad guy and that's probably the way forward. So there we go. Press left trigger to interact. Oh yeah! Man. This, this is some kind of crazy super cop. Also, what, so this game is a sequel to a movie. I actually did not jot down the name of the movie. I'm sure it's a movie I haven't seen because I haven't seen too many like uh, Hong Kong action movies. But I'm kind of curious like what happened in the original movie and is this game faithful to it? I would also be curious if anyone watching this played this game back in the day because they were actually a fan of the original movie and they were like, whoa, there's like a sequel? Because that is kind of a cool idea. Um, you know what other game actually does that and I think is renowned as being like really good is the Ghostbusters video game um, Not the 2016 one uh, the uh, the original the OG Ghostbusters um, You know that movie that that movie did have a sequel Ghostbusters 2 which I liked but I know not everyone liked But they never were able to get the cast together to make a third Ghostbusters But they did make a Ghostbusters game on the Xbox 360 with the original old Ghostbusters and it has like a lot of references to the past movies and stuff, um, but it it isn't you know too crazy or anything. Precision aim unlocked. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh, he shot him right in the mouth. The guy literally ate a bullet from stylish kills. Okay, press up on the D-pad. Oh, we're totally doing this. Who wants to eat a bullet? Okay, here we go. Oh yes, right in his mouth. Oh, God! Oh, that's horrifying. Okay, who else? How about we shoot this guy right in the eyeball? Boom, kaboom! Oh, my eye! Oh, God. Oh, man, okay. Do we have enough for one more? You know where it's going. There's only three places. The mouth, the eye, and the groin. Oh, God, that is so violent. I'm gonna have to, like, uh, like censor this video. Or YouTube's gonna, like, ban me from advertising or something. Uh, but anyway, uh, yes, the uh, the Ghostbusters video game uh, on the Xbox 360 is actually supposed to be, like, a good game. And because uh, it, it takes place after the movies and it has all the actors and stuff from the movies, apparently it's, like, the closest thing we'll ever get to a third Ghostbusters. And it's actually pretty good. Um, I've long had that one on my to-play list. I own it. I'm looking forward to playing it one day. Um, I just simply have not gotten around to it. But, uh, yeah, that, that one will be a real... Can I go in here? That will be a real blast in the past when we finally get around to it. Ghostbusters. Oh, pick up the golden pistol. Damn. What does the golden pistol do? Should we use it for pre precision, precision shots? I can't even talk. These guys look pretty rough. Also, I'm pretty sure I killed most of these guys on the previous screen. Who killed the cop? Go to Tai O and ask an I-9. But be quick. There won't be any left after tomorrow. Okay. So, were they helping me or do I kill them now? Oh, it's on. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. We gotta shoot the glimmering things. Boom. Boom. Oh, God. Is there anything glimmering around this guy? Not that I can see. Just shoot him in the face. Oh, oh, oh. I'm just taking the bullets. Yeah! Oh, the air conditioner fell on him. All right, thanks for the hot tip, bud. I'm, uh... Didn't mean to kill all your dudes, but... Um, all right. Health. Health. And... Where do I go now? Oh, I can just walk through that. I was like, where do I go? Um, uh, it looked like there was, like, a wall there, but I guess it was just debris. Anyway, yeah, one day we'll play Ghostbusters, the video game. It'll be great. Tequila. It's Lee. 
Cherry's got info on a deal going down at the tea house. Golden Cane run that place. Which is why I want you to wait until I can send backup. Sorry, Captain. I just got a personal invitation. Tequila! Oh, this guy wants some. Well, we're just the kind of cop to give it to him. Oh, man, I think we just shot that guy right in the groin. All right, can we do, like, a precision shot on this guy with the shotgun? Let's try and shoot his hand off. Oh, we shot him in the hand. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. Clean up your life. And your buddy, I just completely blasted him right in the face. I'm only giving free lessons to one out of ten punks. The other nine out of ten, I'm just completely murdering in cold blood. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Where Where is this coming from? Thank God the shotgun has range. I think I've used up all my pistols. There we go. I feel like I can be doing a much better job of like killing these guys stylishly. But, oh, what am I? J jumping on the railing there? What's happening? Where am I? Where is it? Where are the people I need to kill? Boom! Hey, what does that do? Oh, lets me up here. All right. So I was a little worried when I went out, when I set up to play this game today, because I thought, uh, you know, for like some of these more modern games, sometimes things can be, what the, I'm like, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I can't move. What do I do? Look at this. Uh, I guess I'll let them kill me. Yeah, I, I literally can't get out of here. And there's no way to jump, by the way. Not that I've been able to figure. Oh wait, I can use bullet time, right? No, that won't work. Oh wait, I got out of it. Okay. Wow, that was weird. There we go. We we definitely need some ammo here. Um. And also, it looked. Oh god. Stop it. I think it's actually kind of hard to control yourself in this game. Um. But anyway, I was worried about this game in a sense because. Uh, it's a more modern game, and modern games sometimes they can be difficult to figure out or can take a long time to, like, get to the point, you know, if they, like, go crazy on stories and stuff, but, uh, this one, uh, oh, there we go. This one actually has been pretty easy to sort of just jump in and go. There we go. Yes, give me that. I saw that crane over there, and I totally wanted it. Who is still alive? Oh, you. Ah, uh, you're dead. <laughs> All right, checkpoint. How about checkmate? Hey -o! Anyone in here? My guy likes jumping. I think this cop has a background in parkour. That was his official training was in parkour. He only got into killing criminals. You know, it was like a, a side gig, a side hustle. Alright, now we get some awesome Chow Yun Fat acting. It took six hundred hours to digitally scan his face and reconstruct it here. Tequila? <laughs> the way I like it. You are the only one who does. What? Why did you do that? What? How come he's still not dead? We ran out of shooters. Why don't you go down and try? Young wants me at the Mega. The Imperial Nine deal is going down right now. All right, more story. Guess what it leads to? Me killing these guys! That was just a waiter coming to see if he could take my order. This guy's a busboy. This guy's the chauffeur. And this guy's a boyfriend here to pick up his waitress girlfriend. And then here's some customers! I think that uh, the guns the enemies have are completely in my mind. I don't think these are real armed people. I don't think any gang has this many. Oh, thugs. That guy just flew off the stairs. It's just like, really, I, I'm in like a murderous rage. I'm just, I'm totally de delusional. Just murdering civilians. Blah! Alright. Oh, there's more guys over here. Oh, oh! <laughs> He's jumping all over the place. It is surprisingly hard to actually control him. It was pretty easy to kill guys. Oh, I just dove into their bodies head first. Of course. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Ain't nobody coming out of there. I like I like punching them. It's actually pretty fun. Wait, where, where's this guy who's shooting me here? Okay, hold on. Here's what we're gonna do for those guys. We're going into his nose. Oh God! I think it it, took, it counted that as a mouth shot. What if we not shot? How about his neck? 
Oh, that was a shoulder shot. That's just a flesh wound. He's still alive. Okay, how about... Look how happy he is. He's about to get real sad, though, let me tell you. What's happening? Oh, he's rolling. I was like, did he just die? Oh! <laughs> Look at that haircut, dude. That is actually the worst hair ever. <laughs> oh, man. He looks like he has a baby set head of hair. He has, like, a baby afro. Oh, God. Uh, we let him choke out, too. That is, that is a hardcore way of policing. I did not know policing in Hong Kong was so freaking hardcore. All right, now where? Ooh, medicine. I like how the kitchen just has a full-on med kit just hanging out there just in case. Boom! <laughs> Blast that guy in the face a little bit. Anybody else want some? Oh, let's go up the railing. hey -o! Style, bitches! Nobody's here. Oh, God. Who is shooting me? Oh, these guys. Okay. So this guy. Hoo oh, I punched that guy to death. Table for one. I need I need to develop some good one-liners. I am no Arnold Schwarzenegger. My one-liners are actually pretty pathetic. What I should do is like write down a series of them before I go to play a game like this and you know like practice. Oh that guy has a bazooka. Do I get that? I want to do a bazooka in slow-mo. How about this buddy? Bullet right to the mouth! Oh! <laughs> He did fire bazooka at me though. So that's something. How about this? He's like, oh damn! Not my eye! My favorite eye! <laughs> I I look out of that eye every single day. Okay, I think do we have time for one more? No, we'll just shoot him in the head. I wanted to do one more style shot on him. That's a boss, apparently. Um, I am playing this game on casual, so I expected it to be easy. I'm not complaining or anything, but... I told you not to go in alone. I didn't. Brought my two friends. This is what our need wanted us to find. Bullet between the eyes. That's a signature hit. The iron eyes are the dragon claws muscle. Wong's got the iron eyes hitting cops and dealing passports to Golden Cane. Except the deal went bad. Someone's trying to start a war. This acting is top notch. I'm heading down to Dio. I'm gonna shake some cages and see what falls out. Like hell you will. Tile's not your turf and you know it. That's an ongoing narcotics probe. All right. The chief is not on my side. C minus. That was A plus work, buddy. I don't know. I, don't, I think the game is grading on a curve or something because there's no way, man. That was, that was top notch gameplay. <laughs> I think we can all agree. I'm amazing at this game. All right. Oh, they've caught a shark at this island. It's the Jaws Island. Oh, there's a pirate ship. Where am I? He's also kind of walking, like, hunched over a little bit, like an old man. I don't know what's happening. Maybe he's got back issues. Oh, sniper! Let's kill this guy. Nice try, sniper. Oh, more fish. All right. Oh, and shotgun guys. I like how I'm just killing island locals now. I assume these are bad guys, but you never can quite tell. Hey, machine gun. Oh. Oh, yes. All right, this is what I was waiting for, an awesome weapon. Oh, boom, 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 boom. oh this is so great. Yeah, this game, like, there, there are some shooters, you know, like, uh, like Halo, where, you know, you actually have to, like, worry about getting shot. There's other ones, like, uh, uh, Gears of War, where you all you similarly have to worry about getting shot. Then there's other games like Resident Evil and uh, Metal Gear Solid where like you don't have a lot of ammo so you gotta like use stealth and stuff. This one's just like kill everyone and don't worry about it. Oh god, I can't get in there? There's a guy in there who wants to kill me and I can't get in there? Oh wait, there's a door on the other side. Wait, how do I do this? Can I go in here? I'm confused. Um, I found a secret area or something. Pick up shotgun. No, thank you. Can I just... Let me in! <laughs> Alright, that was a one-star kill. Oh, ow! More guys in there? Checkpoint. Alright, I was waiting for a phone call. I didn't want to hop into the building too soon. I might lose the signal. Uh, search and destroy all nine drug tables. Drug tables found near black smoke. Alright, and he texted me a picture of the drug tables. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Show me your drug tables. Pick up 
What's that? Submachine gun? Kill these guys. I want to try like different weapons here. Pick up submachine gun. Where'd it, where'd it go? Oh, here we go. Dual MP5s. That's how I like to do business. This, you know what they should do? They should make a mod for this game where it's the uh, the Matrix um, uh, lobby scene from the first Matrix movie. Boom! There's your drug table. Huh! Oh, no bullet time occurred. Yeah! Riddle with bullets! Jeez. Yeah! <laughs> oh, there's guys everywhere, actually. Oh, no, just in front of me. I want to unlock, you know, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to unlock one more tequila bomb, just so we can see what, like, the next one is, I think. Um, I know that eventually you get unlimited crazy ammo. I think that's the, the, the top one. I think right below that, shoot the yellow pieces of pole to get to the roofs. Right before you unlock unlimited ammo, you unlock, um... Here we go. You unlock the like area of effect uh, attack. Boom. See what's going on in here. Oh, a drug table. I knew this place smelled funky. Hey, who are you? I will kill you anyway. Oh, another drug table. Blow that up too. All right, we're nice and good. No more drugs. This is this is uh, the war on drugs, folks. This is how you do it. Go around shooting people, blowing up tables. It'll all work out in the end. I love the look of those like old uh, Chinese like uh, pirate ships. You know, like that that sail is very very sort of Chinese. Uh, you know, ancient ancient pirate and stuff. I, again, I don't know why what's going on in the context of uh, like why it's here. Because I thought this was like a modern Hong Kong action thing, but I don't know. I guess there's ancient pirates lingering around. Got a bit of a Goonies thing going on. It's it's half Chow Young Fat, half Goonies. This game, I think. All right, can I get in here? Because there's totally some black smoke coming out of here. Die! Die! Okay, I skipped going on the roof. Should I go back for that? I'm going back for that. Um, I thought going on the roof would take me to the next part of the game, but uh, I think maybe near the sailboat's the next part, and I'm missing a power up or something. Let's find out. Let's go ahead and use some tequila health. Let's hop over here. Oh, look at this. Another secret room. With this guy. He was sleeping on a sideways mattress. Not the best for your back, bud. But there's nothing else in here? Okay, that, that was a big waste, as it turns out. There was no reason to do that. All right, on to other stuff. I want that thing. Um, yeah, this game, you know what, in addition to Goonies, it's got some Uncharted going on. They got the pirate boat, ancient treasures, you know. Chow Young Fat is not as witty as Nathan Drake, but, uh, few men are. Oh! Hello, folks. I really should just shoot at every kind of barrel that I see. Because I gotta remember, I'm in a game all about, uh, explosions and stuff. Kaboom! Kaboom! How many more drug tables are there? Ow. <laughs> Where did that come from? Oh, you jerk. Oh, I punched him into a drug table. Alright, oh god, that thing's gonna explode, isn't it? Alright, riddle that guy with bullets. Do these things explode? No. Kill that guy. Where are you? Reveal yourself. Oh, punch him to death. Oh, wait, we got a assault rifle. Let's take full advantage of this. I'm getting him. Slowly and surely. If I was this gang, I would be terrifying. You need to destroy all the drug labs to proceed. Oh, no. That means I missed some. I totally missed some, didn't I? Oh, man. All right, well, you know what? They could be anywhere. I think we have successfully murderfied most of this gang. I mean, I'm going to have to go back and look for drug drug labs. But uh, I think instead, I mean, we've been playing this game for like almost 40 minutes. 
I, I feel like I've got a good sense of this game, so I kind of wanted to go till we unlock the next power-up. But really, he just spins around in a circle, shooting in every direction. Doves come out of him, and then he he just kills every enemy on the screen. It's just a super move. That's that's the next thing. So we're not all actually missing all that much. So why don't we why don't we start wrapping up here? Um, Stranglehold, John Woo Stranglehold is one of the games in the book of thousand one video games you must play before you die. Um, I like this game. It's it's a decent Xbox 360 game. It's a very different style of shooter than like Halo or Gears of War or you know anything like that. It's much more of just sort of a, a casual, silly, fun game. It's about just gunning guys down in ridiculous ways, watching them explode and destroying them with the environment. It's kind of a fun, neat game. Um, like in terms of, is this a game you must play? I'm not, like, it does have some unique things going on for it. I mean, you got Chow Young Fat in the game, and it is a sequel to a movie. I've never heard of that before, where a game is a legit, intentional sequel to a movie. I mean, even the Ghostbusters game, a lot of people say it's like Ghostbusters 3, but it's not meant to officially be Ghostbusters 3. Um, so the fact that it is an official sequel to a game is kind of cool. Um, and I think for all those reasons, it's like a standout Xbox 360 game. Um, I wouldn't, again, not necessarily like the absolute best game that's out there, but it's like pretty unique and pretty interesting. But that said, like, is if you were going to make a list of Xbox 360 games that people had to play, would this be at the top of your list? I'm not 100% sure. This would definitely be like a unique one I would mention to people, but I'm not sure about the must play. So, uh, oh, look, we found one. So those are my thoughts. What do you guys think of uh, Stranglehold here? Is it a game that you guys owned back in the day? Do you have fond memories of it or cool tips? Um, is it a game you think that you must play? Or is it a game that you enjoyed uh, enjoyed enough, but uh, you you also kind of feel like, yeah, but I don't know if anyone has to play it. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And whatever you do think, hopefully you've had fun today. Uh, if you have, don't forget to like the video and all that stuff. And I will be back soon with uh, another video and another game. So until we get meet again, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. And this is uh, Vanilla Vodka signing off, telling you to uh, mind your P's and Q's. Or uh, Vanilla Vodka is coming for you. <laughs> all right, guys. Peace. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't find the drug tables. But I realized you could do this, so... Just as good? Whee!